is your Leave No Trace trainer, and I am here to discuss something with you. The coronavirus par- pandemic has altered all of our lives. It is important to be aware of the most current information from the CDC on these changes, and that goes for, and that goes for changes to the way we spend time outside as well. To keep ourselves, our communities, and our outdoor spaces safe and healthy during this time, please consider these recommendations. One, you and your outdoor world. You may be asking, can I go for a hike or walk on the beach right now, even though the beach is rather far away. There's still those kinds of people. Your personal risk, that of your family members, the health of others in your community, access to local uncrowded spaces all play into this decision. Place, mm -hmm, excuse me, pay close guidance, pay close attention to guidance in your community before heading outside. Then follow physical distancing guidance, meaning staying at least six feet away from people not living with you. Two, expect closures. As business limit services or direct their staff to work remotely, closures should be expected. The result could be a lack of water, restrooms, campgrounds, or other facilities, or even even entire areas. Many land managers are recommending that you bring your own toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and the such, or refrain from using public restrooms and other facilities, as they may not be cleaned or restocked, for extended, extended periods. Take necessary precautions like bringing extra food and water and being, re- and being ready to pack all your trash out with you. Three. Pack out your trash. Parks are closed in the woodlands. The pathways and trails, however, are open. With the limited staff and services in many and in most state parks and protected areas, trash and recycling um, acceptables may not be empty um, as often or at all. This can, ref- this can result in overflow from these, which becomes litter and can harm wildlife. Instead, pack your trash and recyclables out with you um, and, and throw them throw them in them. <clears throat> I can't English today. Throw them in your personal trash bins once you get back home. Four, avoid times and places of high use. Absolutely, if you really can, avoid crowded parks, trails, beaches, and public transportation. Physical distancing applies in the outdoors just as it does anywhere else. To avoid being part of the creation of large crowds and groups at popular outdoor areas, spread out to less popular spots and avoid times of highest use if possible. Remember these tips for handling crowds in outdoor spaces. 5. Proceed with caution. Keep in mind that it, uh, as our healthcare system becomes more overwhelmed, it's important to reduce p- potential accidents that would add the stress to our medical professionals. As much as possible, stick to the activities and areas that are within your regular routine and take it easy. Six, don't forget the Leave No Trace seven principles. Just because times are tough doesn't mean the Leave No Trace seven principles fly out the window. Our natural areas will be likely receiving less attention from staff and volunteers right now. This means our shared spaces need us to act as stewardess more than ever. Remember, it is just still just as important to prepare for spring weather conditions, stick to trails, dispose of our waste properly, and fi- minimize fire impacts, leave what we find, keep a safe distance from wildlife, and gen- um, do your general best to eliminate impacts. 7. A scout is kind and considerate to others. We're all in this together. Be considerate of, the, of others in the outdoors by ensuring that you practice physical distancing. 
be particularly kind to staff during these challenging times. Help them do your job by doing your part of taking care of each other and our beloved outdoors.